How's it going, everybody? My name is Josh. My amateur radio call sign is KI6NAZ. I am an amateur radio or ham radio operator. Ham radio requires a license to transmit on. We have specialized bands that allow us to do a myriad of things among use voice communication, Morse code, and send data over the air from point to point. You probably clicked on this video because you are interested in getting your amateur radio license. Good for you. To do that, there are three tests. The first level is technician, second is general, and third is extra. The first primarily deals with line of sight communication. Think handheld radio to handheld radio. When you get into general and extra, then you get a lot more bands, which we call high-frequency bands, HF bands. Those are the bands where you transmit and your radio frequency that's radiating from your radio will bounce off the atmosphere, allowing you beyond line-of-sight communication. But fear not, technicians also have some access to the HF bands, including 10 meters. We are rolling into the high solar cycle or the high side of the solar cycle where the strength of the sun, the radiated energy, the radiated heat from the sun energizes our atmosphere and makes the 10 meter band even more effective at that beyond line of sight communication. So good idea to get your technician license now. This video and the series of videos I'm dropping are a catalog collected on a playlist that will help you study for the technician exam. There are 35 questions on the exam and you need a pass rate of 75%. I believe this test is very straightforward. The information can be a little esoteric if you're seeing it for the first time, but it all makes sense. There is no magic in amateur radio and everything is grounded in science and things that we can experiment with, demonstrate, and replicate. Using this video series is very simple. You just go to the playlist and start going through the sub-elements of the test. The test is broken up into multiple different sub-elements that break them down into topics. Those topics include rules, what you must behave like or on behalf of as an amateur radio operator, different radio applications and their operation, as well as some important safety information. These videos are made with the help of a website, hamstudy.org. Hamstudy.org is a free website where you can take practice tests for your amateur radio licenses all of them, technician, general, and extra. But for you interested in a technician, go make an account and start taking practice tests as you watch these videos. What you will find is that as you take more practice tests, the tool will tell you which sub-elements you are having issues with. And then you can come watch the videos for those specific sub-elements. You don't really need to watch all of them. I would recommend taking a couple practice tests and have the testing software, hamstudy.org, tell you where your deficiencies are. Then come watch these videos and they'll help you out. For those of you that don't want to use a website, hamstudy.org also has an application that you can download to your phone, Android, or iOS device. You can also go the traditional route and get books. I highly recommend the books from Gordon West and also the audio books like the Fast Track series that are available on Audible. There will be links to all of these things in the description for this video as well, a reminder on this playlist. So let's get started with sub-element number one.